Hi, welcome back everybody, welcome back to part 2. Yes, it is a 22 minute episode and I think we've only covered 10 minutes of it, so that leaves us 12 minutes to get through. Alright, let's get going. Now that Power Guy's been helped by that little bit of bandage around his arm, the Decepticons attack again! Wow, look at the way he just threw and she stood up, that was amazing! Let's just see that once more, in slow motion. Just watch this. Just watch the way she goes. Okay, roll over, roll over. Whoa, she he threw her over to the left. There she is on the right. Bloody amazing. Just bloody marvellous. Oh, look, it's the Down Syndrome. Decepticon Jet. Who can't shoot for shit? Wow, where did that explosion come from? That's just marvellous. What they do? Hit an oil tanker? Wow, what a scream. Oh, who writes my script? Where did that come from? He'll never use that weapon again, but for the time being, it's not Power Glide out. Thank God. Wow, look at the way the man handled. I did, let's just point that out again. I mean, wow, her arms would be detached from her body by now. I'm quite sure mine would. And look how big Dirge is. Look, he's like massive. He's like more bigger than three of them put together. Do they increase in size when they transform? Well, I suppose it stands to reason Soundwave decreases. A bit like my subscriber list. Anyway, enough said about that, I think. Anyway. Power Glide managed to make it out somehow. Um, he's lost the ribbon off his arm, but you know what? It's probably for the best. Although, I'm sure he was shot in the arm and not the legs. And he can't remember to fly either. I'm thinking he is now drunk. Yeah, I walk like that after a night in the town, mate. But luckily, he did report his position, so long comes Ratchet. And I've been accused of calling him Ratchet for some reason, but it is Ratchet. Alright? Just my bad pronunciation. Let me off. Anyway, will Jerk and Rat shit help out Power Glide here? Why, well, I don't know. You know, they haven't really cared about him so far. I love he's got a little medical box there which looks like some sort of drip. What possible use would that be for an Autobot? God only knows. Car driving off into the sun. Yes, I just couldn't help myself saying that. Like, oh, it made me laugh. I don't care. I'm not excusing myself. Well, that sounds like Frankenstein's laboratory in here, doesn't it? We well, can't move a little bit faster. I got lots of people to annoy. <laughs> anyway, Power Glide doesn't give a shit what Rat Shit has to say, so he's off. I love the, how quick Rat Shit does. He looks like he's turning over a little kid. Now, if I see you trying to run away again, Sunshine, I'm gonna put you over my knee and oh, actually no. Get arrested for that kind of thing. And the only the other appearance of Optimus Prime who really doesn't give a crap about what's going on. It's so boring to him. I know what that is, mate. And it shouldn't apply to you robots. That's kinda sick. Even for me. Hey look, Teletran 1 showing us the same shit he always shows us. Look, it's the same picture every time they look at it. Teletran 1 has only one picture to look at. <laughs> Go back there and change the picture. Power glide. No! I've gotta go get her story, and that must be where she is. <laughs> I love the way Prime doesn't even try and stop him. I don't care. He called her a brat. What a stupid moron. Look at the way he runs. He runs like a twat. Yeah, why didn't you... Ah, uh, fuck it. Who cares? I love the bit with this is the best bit of the episode. This is the bit, the highlight of the entire episode. The bit where the Decepticons act like I don't know, like the six stooges. And yes, I do know it's the three stooges, and yes, and I do know that most of the time it was only the three Bee Gees. Sorry. Why did I do that? I don't know. Okay, you're gonna really enjoy this next bit. This is brilliant. As we all know, Megatron really has some issues with retreating, conflict ordering yeah he's got he, he's mega messed up megatron he's mega messed up yeah that makes sense hence the name if you say so yeah i've tried that with a girl before and it doesn't work i'm telling you mate it does not work i love it she just starts in sorry megatron <laughs> with the decepticons the most feared uh, supposed evil being in history and She's dissing him, man, alright? She's just dissing Megatron. Yeah. Go shove that fusion cannon up your ass, mate, and pull the trigger. See, Megatron's such a gentleman, he's given her one last chance not to have the psycho probe. You know, when you say psycho probe, it conjures up so many unpleasant images on my mind that I don't really think they would be quite unpleasant imagery. You know, thinking of psycho and then probing. 
probing psychos? Ugh. Anyway, so now she's glowing with a bad effect that they've added in from the 80s and it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, the subject mind is empty. No, no, Dirge, Ramjet and Thrust, their minds are all empty too. Yeah, it's probably Windows, mate. It's probably crashed. Now we come back to that crap where her and machines don't run too well together, apparently. Or, fuck it, I don't remember. Doesn't work. Well, look, it's something in the sky. Lots of pink stuff. Let me fly into it. <laughs> Activate the what? <laughs> That's fucking amazing, look. <laughs> Oh, look at these two idiots now. They're about to actually do to themselves what they're trying to do to her. That just sounds disgusting. I'm hitting the pink beans. They're stopping me from annoying the world. <laughs> Bear in mind, he's going all through this for no reason. When he gets actually gets hold of her, he slaps her around a bit more. Because he's a douche. That's Power Glide. Oh, this bit's... Yeah, don't give me the fist like that, Megatron. That's just wrong. This is so hilarious. Yeah, I like the way Megatron taps his head and there's nothing there. I mean, he keeps threatening her. He doesn't really want to do it, does he? Let's be honest. But, you know, he's going to have to because he's Megatron, you know. Now she goes off on a rant. Dumb machine, it's really dumb pissing machine off Megatron. Why? Why is it pissing him off so much? <laughs> <laughs> there is an off button, Megatron. Good God. Yep, he made it there. When he said that, I'm not sure if he's talking to the two Decepticons, Soundwave and Rumble, or the girl. Never mind, it doesn't matter. She's off to make mischief. Bloody hell, he's still trying to get there, look. Is he like the slowest player? Every time they look at him, he's like 40 foot away from where he was when you first got there. Seriously, he doesn't actually seem to get any further forward. He just keeps flying into the pink candy plus beams. God, she's quick. Nothing. Well... You didn't look very hard. Look, if you look to your left, then you're right. And if something didn't appear, then you're going to use this apparently precious locket thing that keeps shining and then changing colour all through the entire episode. Wow. I mean, jeez. That's just... Just... Wow. There you go. Megatron again. Doesn't even try and fix it. Doesn't think of it. Just... Just... just yeah. Retreat. Just retreat. I don't, I don't try and work it out. It's not going right. I've got issues with things. Just, just let's get out of it. Megatron really is fucked up, let's face it. You think Galvatron was a bit odd? Nah, he had nothing on Megatron. Candle mush. Yeah, look, he just pushed her. Seriously. He just pushed her. He flew all the way there just to push her off the top. What an asshole. Wow, look at that magic trick. That's super. I'm a plane. I could fly off here, but no, I'm gonna stay on it with you. <laughs> I could panic, but the thing seems to be falling really fast. But no, let's just walk up to the machine. There's no hurry here. <laughs> wow, she's strong. Bloody hell. I estimate at that rate of descent, they've literally got about four seconds. So let's count. One, two, three, four. Bullshit! What's it doing? Just stop when we're not watching it full? Seriously? Yeah, even he expected it to hit the sea by now. He's shocked. So apparently, it's all her fault it doesn't work. Now, they're looking just slapped her out. They cut the slap down there, but look, you know what happened? This has got to be like the longest descent ever. Stop pulling around that knob. That's now disgusting. Wouldn't do any good. He doesn't have a mouth. Like a freaking mouth! But of course, we could have done this in the first place, because it's not really changed the angle that it's falling anyway, but so what? <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Decepticon HQ. Didn't they have a telescope on that? 
Where are all the other Decepticons at the moment, by the way? Where's Starscream? Why is Starscream not in this fucking episode ever? He hasn't been in any of them that I've done. Stop winking at him, Megatron. That's just sick. Stop winking. Jeez. <laughs> wow, that's falling really fast now. Takes like a week to fall in the sky, but through water? Now it's like turbocharged, man. Oh, sorry, you just missed the line where Megatron says, raise shields. And Soundwave goes, what shields? Yes, because Soundwave is playing the part that he did in Carnage and C Minor. He's just doing nothing at all of any use to anybody. There are no other Decepticons in episode. There's six Decepticons in this entire episode. Wow. Oh, sorry, Optimus Prime's decided to turn up, but he's not going to do anything. You never make any sense, you know that? Yeah. Well, the fact well, she likes you, mate, makes no doing? sense, so don't knock it. Uh, uh, next time I'm in town, Why is he doing an anime okay tap on the back of his head because he's slightly up. embarrassed that, that this girl likes wonderful. a metal alien robot? <laughs> you're wonderful. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, wow. You're not so bad yourself, kid. You really mean it? Well, uh, sure. <laughs> you know... <laughs> um... I'm, I'm not usually lost for words, actually, you know me. My mouth is sort of like turbocharged, and... Jeez. Look at that, Spike. That's something you're never gonna get, you little fucker. Hey, pal, I got it. Just shit in my pants. <laughs> and this bit, I just seriously do not get why they put this in. What the hell is that meant to simulate, eh? A heart in his stomach? So, yeah, oh, I get it. A man's heart's in his stomach. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, episode! Well, that was an interesting episode, wasn't it, guys? I will say... It's not the worst Transformer episode. Carnage and Z Minor quite seriously is. And when I look back on this episode, it's, it's not quite probably as bad as I made it out to be. It's much, much, much... WORSE! Thank you.